Okay, this is the chords for Tears of Audrey by Kevin Gilbert. Um, here's a tuning which is a standard tuning except the low E and the low A strings. Okay. Then you have a, you take your A string down to D, a G, sorry, A to G. Take your low E string down to a C. I like coffee, I like tea, I like tears for Audrey. So then you're gonna put your capo in the second fret. What I'll do is I'll run you through the chords of this quite quickly. Uh, so you're going to start by playing, putting your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. I'm now going to say fifth fret as if this capo was the neck here, okay? So. And you're going to pull off with your pinky to your middle finger on the B string from 7 to 5. string is not ringing here. Should you hit the low E string, pull your thumb across the top and fret it on the second. It's much better then. Okay, that's the basic riff. Uh, it then goes to the it's over so you'd be playing the equivalent of a, an E minor this low E string is open uh, sorry the low E string is not being played you're only playing the the which is a your equivalent of your second fret so you're going 2-2 two, two, open 3 on the B string and then you're going to drop that one slide your third and your pinky up to the fifth fret on the A, the fifth fret on the B. So five five four three seven seven. Okay. goes through the verse. When it gets to the See there you're going seven seven five. There are no so there you're playing a you can play which is 5-5, five, five, open, 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 A string, D string, 5. Or you can put your, uh, your middle finger on the G string on the 4th fret, and your 1st finger on the 4th fret of the E string now. But I think he actually plays, only plays that bass note second time round. Going four four two open, and then slide that whole thing up to uh, nine nine seven. Um,
do the same walk down you just meant and I'm going da, 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 da. but this time instead of going to da, 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 you're going to go one two 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 slide that whole shape up uh, two frets Later on in the tune, it does the following. It goes, when the sun is so the way you've been playing that. So you're now on the uh, six, nine, nine and eight. Nine on the A string. Eight on the B string. You could go there, but it doesn't make sense. On you can see on Thud on that live video, the Troubadour, he's going back to that. The video quality is not great; it's a bit dark, but you can see that's where his hands are ending up back again. At. So, so uh, when it goes to. shape you're playing the one that, that, that there but you can, this time you're going to play it on the the third fret so you've got you actually go three four 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 yeah so you're going to go two lovely 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 chords he plays take your first finger and fret 2-2 two, two, pinky on the third uh, string fourth fret and your first uh, sorry your, your middle finger on the second again so you're going 2-2-4-2 two, 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 open open and then he drops to that 1-1 one, one, uh, sorry 1-2-2-2 one, two, two, two. Gorgeous change there. So. And that's the whole song. I'll play along with it. I will undoubtedly make mistakes as I play along with this, but um, you will get the structure and the chord shapes. Oh, there we go. So this is live and thud thing.
So hope you help, hope that helps you. That's the the chords to Tears of Audrey. Enjoy it. And stop giving me copyright claims because I'm sharing music. Really, how on earth are you meant to share music without using music? You know, I'm really, really stumped if you can explain that to me. Uh, why is it that as a as someone who's teaching somebody something, I'm not allowed to use the material that I'm using to teach them? What on earth is that all about? I grew up in an environment where people shared music. Everybody shared music all the time. This is why I come from a culture that's got an ancient musical history and music has been passed down through generations from word to mouth, from mouth to mouth and instrument to instrument and melody to melody. And now comes along people who give me copyright complaint strikes because I'm, I'm doing what has been done historically for centuries. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. If I was doing a product placement on a camera or a washing machine, I'd have no problem. But if I do a product, uh, a product review of this song, and I happen to use the song, like I would explain to you, uh, I'd explain to you how my camera works. Yeah, so I have to tell you about the Fuji XT1 and why you should buy it, etc., etc. You know, or why you should use the Ricoh GR, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know, you know, great. Nobody copyrights me. But the minute I do this, I get some tentatively known as a person uh, giving me a copyright strike uh, or a copyright claim on the music. You know, really, something has to be done about this, or else music will fade out. Anyway, that was my rant about going on my YouTube channel and finding that I've got uh, people copywriting me for music. Goodness me. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, enjoy that tune. Bye.